Being able to stream video is one of the main advantages of using hosted videos and embedding them in your projects. Let's start by looking at what happens if you put a video file onto a normal website. Here's our wellness video file. It lasts a little over 5 minutes and is 162 megabytes. No matter what type of device or what kind of connection, the same video is served. In most cases, it'll be fine, but it isn't the most efficient way of delivering video. Let's look at how adaptive streaming works. Essentially, a number of different versions of the video are made in different sizes. When the video server is asked to deliver a video, it determines the answer to a number of questions. What kind of device will the video be shown on and how big is the screen? What type of connection is it and how good is that connection? Given the answers to these questions, which would be the best version of the video to send? While the person is watching the video, it keeps monitoring the connection. And if, for example, the connection speed goes down, it can change the size of the video so that playback isn't interrupted. And if the connection later improves, it will adapt again, and so on. This is how YouTube works. If you click on the settings cog and choose quality, you can see the different sizes. Most people leave this set to auto so that it gives the best quality video for the device and its current connection. Adaptive streaming is a technology designed to deliver video to the user in the most efficient way possible and in the highest usable quality for each specific user.